Welcome back everyone. You may be wondering why your PC is not detecting the headphones that you're using. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The first thing I'd recommend looking at is, is your headphones that you're using plugged in or are they Bluetooth? If they are Bluetooth headphones, then you may want to go ahead and actually reconnect them. If they are plugged in headphones, you may want to go ahead and replug them in. In my experience, this is the number one way to fix this. Just simply reconnecting them can pretty much fix this specific issue. Now, if you're a plugged in headphone, are working then that's probably fine but most of the time it's Bluetooth headphones that aren't being detected by your PC so the first thing I'd recommend doing whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11 you want to go into your sound preferences inside of your you know settings so you want to go into settings you want to find your sound preferences you can click the search bar and type in sound and you want to look at your input and output devices if your input and output devices are your laptop or PC speakers or monitor speakers or whatever well you're going to want to go ahead and change those over to your Bluetooth headphones now, if your PC is not detecting your Bluetooth headphones at all, like they're not even showing up there, well, most of the time that may be because you didn't properly connect your headphones to your PC in the first place. So you want to get into pairing mode of your headphones and you want to go into the Bluetooth connection settings of your specific PC and you want to keep holding down that pairing mode button. I know in AirPods is the back button. You want to get your headphones into pairing mode and you need to wait until those headphones show up into your Bluetooth headphone settings. So as soon as they show up, you want to click connect or pair or whatever the button is. And as soon as you connect to them, everything should configure over to those headphones automatically. Now, another thing you can do is to update your specific, you know, PC. So you wanna go inside of your settings, you wanna go and click update, and you wanna go ahead and update your PC to the most recent version of software that's available. If you're already updated, then you can skip this step, but most of the time, simply by updating your PC, it'll probably fix a lot of the issues that you're going to run into. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.